As a result of the increased cases of COVID-19 among UN staff and dependents, the United Nations Severe Acute Respiratory and Infection and Treatment Facility was established to provide duty of care for UN staff, dependents, diplomatic missions, international non-governmental organizations and UN specialized agencies. Our team is composed of doctors with a wide range of specialties, nurses and a huge array of other staff that provide services to our team. It's over a year and we haven't recorded any deaths in the facility. We've had people who came in with, who were bad, they were complicated. But at the end of the day, they all came in and they left and there was no mortality because we've been trained and we've discharged our duties 100%. Initially when we started, a lot of us faced stigma, stigmatization because people got to know that oh, we work in the isolation centers and they don't want to come close to us. Then for the family, because a lot of us are married with kids, you know, you come back from work and you don't want to get close to your spouse or your children. Imagine coming back from work and your kids are running to say mom and you're like oh just hold back. You know, so those were challenging moments for us, but we're all able to pull through. So we had to make them understand that this is what, you know, we're doing right now and everything was all for good. In light of the evolving situation and the increasing cases of COVID-19 all across the globe, I believe very strongly that the facility will continue to run. But a lot of reasons also are very important, such as the level of vaccinations, the adherence to non-pharmaceutical and pharmaceutical measures, the increases in diagnosis and therapeutics, promotion of lab testing, psychosocial support, but most especially is the solidarity of countries to ensure that vaccines are provided for everyone across the globe.